Today we're gonna dive into the Genie Bundle of Add-ons, which is a collection of 14 add-ons developed by CG Matter. And all these tools are neatly integrated into a single Genie panel, in Blender's M panel. This means you can access a suite of modeling, simulation, and effects tools in one place. And this collection is really popular right now, so you might want to see what it actually has to offer. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with the Camera Tracker, which is an add-on that uses photogrammetry to automatically compute a robust camera solve for your footage. So, in simple terms, it helps you track the motion of the camera in a video clip, so you can integrate 3D elements into real-life footage, and you can do that really easily. This is similar to Blender's built-in motion tracking, but the add-on aims to simplify and automate the process. So, in a short period of time, and with a few clicks of course, you can get a solved camera without manually placing trackers, which I think is a huge time saver for beginners, in addition to professionals too, who find it daunting, in addition to giving you a speed boost, especially if you are working on a lot of shots at the same time. Next we have X-Over, which is a clever add-on for anyone working with curves. So what does it do exactly? It automatically detects curve self-intersections and resolves them by creating an overlap, essentially allowing one part of the curve to pass under or over another without ugly clipping. You see, in Vanilla Blender, making a curve wrap or weave through itself, like a knot or braid, often requires tedious manual tweaking to avoid intersections, but this add-on fixes this exact point. So it is a live intersection tool, meaning if you bend or adjust the curve, it will continuously find and fix any new intersections in real time. Next we have UV+, Plus, which is an interesting UV unwrapping tool. You see, UV mapping can be tedious for many artists, especially newcomers, and this add-on provides an ultra-fast auto unwrapping solution, in addition to being completely procedural. So in practical terms, you can generate decent UV maps in a short period of time for any model without manually marking seams or unfolding islands. And this is great for those who are not comfortable with UV unwrapping, so you can texture your models fast without burdening yourself with this necessary step, which is usually boring. And for people who do a lot of work of UV mapping, this can be a great time saver because it can quickly get a baseline unwrap, which then you can refine as needed, saving you a lot of time on the initial steps. Moving on now to a fun one, called Pixel Sort. This add-on brings the famous pixel sorting glitch art algorithm straight into Blender. So, if you've ever seen those stylized glitch images where streaks of pixels are artfully dragged out, then this one is probably for you. It can take an image or even an animation and apply this effect with lots of control via procedural parameters. And generally speaking, this is a cool way to add a glitchy digital distortion to renders of videos without needing external software. Now, have you ever wanted to make 3D renders look hand sketched? If this is the case, then Pixel Pro does exactly that. It turns your 3D into realistic sketches providing one of the most realistic pencil style rendering implementations that are available in Blender, with proper shading in addition to having pencil stroke textures combined. In essence, it converts your 3D scene into an image that can appear drawn with a pencil on paper. And to be honest, this is more than a simple filter. It likely uses a combination of shader tricks and line rendering to achieve both soft shading and the rough pencil lines that you see on the edges. Next we have Concave Hall, which is a technical but really useful tool, especially if you work with 3D scans or simulations. So it creates a best fit mesh for a point cloud, which is useful for photogrammetry, data visualization, and general modeling. To break it down, a point cloud is just a set of points in space, often coming from 3D scans or particle simulations. Blender doesn't have an out-of-the-box feature to turn an arbitrary point cloud into a solid mesh aside from convex hull, which wraps points into a bubble. And this add-on can wrap a mesh tightly around points, following their outer shape even if it has indentations, hence calling it concave. 
Next we have the Melt Simulator, which allows you to melt objects in a controlled way. So it can dynamically activate only parts of the mesh to turn into fluid, and even preserve UV mapping on the moving, melting parts, which is really interesting, and this is quite unique. Typical fluid sims turn the entire object into fluid, but this add-on can, for example, melt only the top of the chocolate bar or the edges of the metal piece, while leaving the rest solid, and the melted parts flow. So it keeps the texture UV map moving with it, which is great for realism, especially when it comes to textures. Next we have Cloud Generator, which makes it easy to generate cloud volumes procedurally. Each cloud is unique, with every new seed value, and they are fully volumetric clouds, not just flat images. This is great for anyone doing outdoor scenes, fly through animations, or sky backdrops. So instead of sculpting cloud shapes or using image-based skies, you can pop in a procedural cloud, adjust some parameters, and get a fluffy realistic cloud formation. The next add-on is simple, but I would say it is interesting nonetheless. Sweat Simulator is all about creating droplets that roll down surfaces with realistic physics. Think of water or sweat drops forming and trickling down the side of a glass, a cold soda can, or a character's forehead. The animal spawns and simulates these droplets so they behave believably, following the surface and merging or splitting as real droplets would. Still with simulations, we have Shrink Wrap Simulator. So did you see how plastic shrink wrap tightly conforms to an object? Because the shrink wrap simulator replicates that effect. It dynamically shrink wraps and vacuum seals any object with physically accurate folds and wrinkles. This animal likely uses a cloth simulator under the hood or a custom solver to drape a sheet over an object and then suck it tight around it, creating those small wrinkles and folds that happen when an object is wrapped in a plastic or fabric under vacuum. On the other hand, the rain simulator helps you add convincing rain effects without the slow overhead or full fluid simulation, because it is a fully customizable rain tool with dynamic collisions and particle splashes. So in practice, it emits rain particles that fall and collide with surfaces, and where they hit, it can generate splash particles or droplets. The main emphasis is on speed and customization, because you can control density, direction of wind, splash size, etc., depending on your scene. The next one is Curve Curve, which is an add-on for animating and shaping curves. It is essentially a curve operator that rolls on its spline, letting you roll up a curve like a carpet, and you can easily bend curves into spirals, coils, or rolled shapes. So imagine an open scroll being rolled up or a rug and rolling across a floor. This is exactly what it does. This tool will save you a lot of time manually setting up hooks or complicated modifiers to achieve a smooth rolling motion. Next we have Wicker, which is not one that converts any surface into an intricate woven pattern. I mean, essentially it takes a mesh and generates geometry that looks like woven wicker or basketry on that surface. What's exciting is that it can create actual 3D geometry, not just a texture. This means the weave has depth, casts shadows, and can interfere with light realistically, which is great for close-ups where a mere bump map just can't cut it. Last but not least, we have Ground Modifier. This add-on generalizes the idea of snap to ground, so it works not just for static placement, but also with animated meshes and custom surfaces. In Basic Blender, you can snap objects to the surface manually or use rigid body physics for dropping, but if the object or the ground moves, keeping them in contact can be tricky, but the ground modifier likely provides a constraint or modifier that automatically keeps the object resting on top of another, even if one or both are animated. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons and this collection specifically, you will find all the necessary links in the description. So I hope you guys found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.